So we are here again, another exclusive off-air interview, which means we can go in depth, and we have got the big frontline portion of the Rush Squad here inside the studio here at Kiss. 2012 EP is out right now, and you can get that absolutely free from their SoundCloud page. If you want to uh, click Show More, you better get a link to that anyway. If you haven't, if you haven't got it yet, you should do already. Um, and we are here to talk to Dirt, Tinchy, Rapid and Slicks today. So what's good, everyone? Everyone happy so far with how the mixtape's going? Hundred percent, yes. It's <coughs> doing exactly what we wanted to do. What What did you want it to do? Because obviously, for me. Seeing Russ will come back and have a 12 track project come out and you give it away for free, mm. I was upset. Yeah, I, that. <laughs> well, I, I was think upset because actually it's worth money. That's it definitely worth money. You listen to that, that is worth money. That's, that, that, that 2012 EP is easily as good as any of the Guns N' Roses CDs have come out mm -hmm. before. Yeah. 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 Thank you, man. You, know yeah. yeah. you know what? You see, the 2012 EP, I'll even say that now. I think we might have, should have called it Guns N' Roses and just made that like the main thing because it was as strong as. The rest of them, yeah. and like now it's like we have to carry on. Like, do you know what I mean? Do another one and direct kind of reason because we've just done an album. Do you know what I mean? How we wanted to do it, but it's oh, out you now. Mean so that the, okay, now you've got to go on and do another Guns N' Roses yeah. to get to an album point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it's out yeah, now, and obviously, sense. obviously, doing what we wanted to do. We wanted to bring back mm. a little stir. We wanted people to speak about us. Do you know what I mean? We wanted people to realize that we really make good music and. It's getting across like people are really like on the tweets. We always get tweets like, "How can you look give this out for free?" Like, do you know what I mean? This is some crazy good music. Like, do you know what I mean? But we we're that confident we can make music like that all the time. So it's nothing. Yeah, that's what I say, man. You can look at it another way if it's music like that, and you're getting it for free. Not like you're just downgrading the music. Mm. Before, okay, people need to hear us go back together. Have this, but we know what we got. You know, we're working on what we can do. So it's so good. Definitely. I mean, you look at. Um Look at projects like uh, Gets His Momentum CD, and even in America, you look at like Rick Ross, Rich Forever, and you think, yeah. mm. if that's what you're giving out for free, yeah. then like what are you going to be selling? Yeah, 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 What's yeah, going to yeah. be? The, what has yeah. the album going to sound? That's, that's, that's 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 does that does that does that sort of excite you in, a, in in like a challenging sense? Because okay, right, 2012 EPs come out. Like it was a free download, it's it a free project. But now the next thing we put out, the the mixtape, the the, the pre-album, whatever you want to call it, the, mm. the next Guns N' Roses thing. You've got a you've got a better that to mm, make people right. actually think yeah this is worth my seven ninety nine for the yeah. CD. Yeah, it's, it's that that's a good thing. That's what we're looking to do. But it's not. I think it's a normal thing because um, the music that we're coming out with and that how the album will sound. I think it is better than the twenty twelve from what we have already. Yeah, yeah. we've got we've already. got probably half of an album done so far, and I think it is better mm. and. From all of our CDs that we've had, it's all I think it's all progression. <coughs> Nothing sounds the same. And you now, know, sorry, go. Okay, yeah. So the music that we have now will not sound the same as what's on 2012, and mm -hmm. I don't think 2012 sounds exactly the same as Guns N' Roses two or number one. There's mm -hmm. all there's some. It's mad. Because because we, actually, we, we actually started making like a kind yeah. of rough type of album before we done the EP. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And then we just stopped like one day and just. Kind of, we've done it in about a week really to be honest. Just really? after he done his EP, released it, yeah, we came to an agreement and thought we should do one and just fling it out there just to raise the awareness again. And we just done it quickly, like within like a week. And you've been hitting with the videos as well, like yeah. you know, you, you could easily be mistaken for this as a as an independent album. The way that you put the promotion yeah. together yeah. and 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 just come out with consistent videos, mm -hmm. like for, for a lot of the tracks. And I'm I'm sure there's more coming. Um, yeah, yes. on definitely. There, so, uh, boy, uh, let me ask you. I saw you tweet something earlier today. You tweeted that Jay Z quote about mm. if you like my old, old my old if you want to old me, go and buy my old music. Mm. <laughs> 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 uh, but you went back. You went back. You, you listen to the um, you listen to obviously the, the stuff that you've done on, on 2012, and and there's a lot of uh, obviously Anna's an obvious example of going back to and, and re revisiting some of that old mm -hmm. stuff, but. It's still got that Rosswood sound to it, and you've even collab the collaborations on it as well, like hearing mm. you guys work with um, Jeremy and DWE. Mm. It sort yeah. of takes it back to those days of Monday nights on Deja, for example. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, is is that old Rosswood style something you want to bring with you and, and update to, to 2012, or are you going to try and find something entirely new? No, I think to an extent you're gonna you're gonna hear our music, and you're just gonna know. This is Rusk God music. This is a Rusk God sound. It's not like we're gonna start doing 
completely different type of beats, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the tempo, if it's 140, if it's 90, if it's 50, if it's 200. It's distinctive. Yeah, it sounds, see, it's still gonna know the sound. When we're doing music, it ain't like we, we sit down and think, yeah, we have to make a song that's gonna sound like Russ got. It just happens, like, mm. I don't know how, it's just like, it's just our culture, it's just like when we just turn on the thing, that's just what comes out and it's just a Russ got sound, like, it's just, do you know what I mean? It's like easily like we can easily change it when we want to. Do you know what I mean? It will still sound like Roscoe. Mm. I don't know how it happens, but it just happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like Rappi said, it, it's not even like the tempo, it could be whatever the tempo, <coughs> but you just have that presence and the sound, it's distinctive. Every time Rappi, uh, any time we work a Roscoe project, it always sounds like you can always tell, oh, that's them, or that's, do you know what I mean? Mm. And it's got, that's a cool thing about it. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned tempo as well. Listening to a lot of the stuff that you guys have come out with over, say, the last year and a half, mm -hmm. we're edging down towards like 135 away yes. from that 140. Is yes. that a conscious effort, or is that just? No, it's not because if you if you've heard, I'm not I'm not sure. I think you have played it a few times. If you heard Mario Balotelli, yeah, that's one of the singles that off of the 2012 mixtape. That's that's a comfortable 140 BPM. Mm. And we're doing our thing over it, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, it's, definitely. It's easy and it was light work for all of us, you know what I'm saying? But I think the the tempo change is just a thing to try something different, you know what I'm saying? We've been I've made music for about 13 years at 140. That's some that's, that's <laughs> fuck to you know say. I mean? <laughs> I've made music for 13 years. Yeah, at, at, at 140, for real, realis realistically at 140. Yeah. So. So when, only right, you yeah, it's only right to just try something different. Up. And I, to tell the truth, I got that idea of slowing it down a bit mm. from Dirty. When he was coming out with Hard Body and all of that, <laughs> yeah, I have to shout yeah. him. When he was coming out with Hard yeah, Body and that, I thought, yeah, let me try and edge it down. It gives a different, a different sound, and some people can digest it easier who are not, who don't follow the gram scene, yeah. who don't, who don't know about the music and and spitting. You know and obviously, you know, you're living entirely different lives to what you were when you were making things in boots and, uh, and tracks like that all those years ago. Mm -hmm. um, let me ask you another thing as well, because obviously at the moment there's a lot of uh, press about uh, Afrobeat mm -hmm. and that sort of stuff. And I know you guys are going out regularly uh, to, you know, to house raves and mm -hmm. even, you know, a couple of, couple of guys are involved in promoting them and what have you. Mm -hmm. So you're in there regularly. I mean, does, has that, have you, if you take influence from that, obviously, uh, you know, from from your African backgrounds as well, has, has that started uh, been an influence in in the in the tempo change and some of the percussion that you're using as well? Because I'm I'm hearing a lot of uh, you know different style of, of percussion yeah. being used yeah. in some of the productions as well. You know what? Let me answer that. You see, that for the if you listen to most of our old tunes, like <laughs> some like Pipe Piper and I can't think of any off the top of my head, like apart from that. But rapping and dirty, I've always like subconsciously have that kind of like Afro. Do you know what I mean? Influence in the music, but they didn't really realise it. A lot of people didn't really realise it. It was just that thing, one of them things that people used to say, oh, like, it's a Roscoe tune, it's a Roscoe sound, but it's just in us because we've been listening to that music for years. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So it's just like, naturally, it, it comes out in their production anyway, that type of kind of, and not funky, but that kind of like dancey. That's, 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 that's a good point because Afro beat didn't start yesterday. Mm. No, the definitely whole, not. Like, definitely whole, not. Because like, that sticks with sound all our background, the whole, it's like hip life, highlights. The, like, the names of change. The names of change, but the music sound from. Say like when you're young, your parents play mm. songs like, and I guess that's naturally been in us sure. rapid and turn. Yeah. And when when people say, "Oh, the Roscoe sound," that yeah. might be one of the reasons why they they recognise that sound yeah. because you have those influences right, rather than you know growing up around sound system culture and that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah, you've obviously grown up around different musical in influences, and that's coming through in the music because. You know, you might have had you know the Wileys and Danny Weeds and Dizzy Rascals, you know, at the time, but. The beats that you guys were coming out back then mm. were equally as as creative and and, mm. and 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 entirely inventive, but in your entire in your own way as well. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So so it's interesting to see the influences because this country, Great Britain, we, we're made up of so many different cultures all mixing together and, and, and merging together. And obviously, yeah. even the different dance music we've grown up listening to, jungle mm. and yeah. garage mm -hmm. and that yeah. sort of stuff. So it's all come together. Yeah, and obviously, cool. growing up listening to, to U.S. rap as well. Mm. Um, let's let's call that a day because we've given him enough information. But what's the next thing to ask? Oh, sorry, one more thing I need to ask as well. Obviously, you know, rapid. We saw you at Eskimo dancers. How how did you enjoy that performance? I think it was fun. You know, <coughs> it's like it's good to be on stage with um, Slick, Star, Roach, Gets, and Little Nasty, and it was great to see like the place full. Mm. So many people, and then everyone there knows what they're coming for. The flyer didn't say. 
no R and B, it wasn't no it was just straight yeah, it was just straight gram. And everyone there knew what they were in for, what they're coming for, and it was a good turnout and there was a good response. And you saw the response exactly when you went mm. on stage and did your thing. Mm. There was no, oh, you know, I'm, I don't really understand this. It yeah, was yeah. just, yeah, this is what we came for. Yeah. Mm. I think it, I think it was weird. Like for me, it was kind of surreal because I was on stage obviously to perform, but as a fan as well. Do you know what I mean? For me as well, the same so thing. So sometimes I was just like standing on stage, just looking, like and just watching, in it. Yeah, and just... like, right, this is finally back. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I felt like at home. It was really good. Like, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I think it was a good experience. I think when I was on stage and I heard Maximum play uh, Deneo Bounce, mm. and I felt, right, I'm at Eskimo dance now. Oh, yeah, really yeah, Eskimo dance. That's crazy. Yeah, man. You know I'm, what I mean? Like, I'm sad I missed that, man. I wanted to come so bad. But well, yeah. That's what I say. Like, next time, you know, I can I can certainly think of, of, of one person that was, was certainly sorely missed on stage. I've got, I've got a new tattoo. You just hurt me on my shoulder oh, still. You know? Yeah. That's what happens when you keep getting tattoos, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, Eskimo dance. I spoke to Will about that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see what makes that happen. That would be beautiful, just yeah. as, a, as, a, as a, even like a little quick pass through, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this space. But anyway, the 2012 EP is out right now. Make sure you right download now. that from the SoundCloud. As I said, the link will be in the show more underneath this video. So Where's it going to be, right? Here. They're basically underneath this video, so yeah. if you sort of go way down, 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 down there. Um... <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, it's down there, man. No, no, yeah. We won't get any yeah, yeah, it's better there still. Down there, if you click show them where you have the link to that, and make sure you download that. Some massive Free download, make sure you go get Free them. Definitely, and check the videos out, because they're all very much winning. Yeah, yeah. winning. Respect. Oh, yeah.